chemotherapy is actually a chemical which is introduced inside the body to kill the cancer cells. That's the concept of chemotherapy. Just as we take antibiotics for our throat infections or maybe abdominal infections, they are the antibiotics for the cancer cells. The problem with chemotherapy is that it's a chemical structure which also affects the normal cells apart from the cancer cells to a certain extent. And hence, with every chemotherapy, be it oral chemotherapy or intravenous chemotherapy or intramuscular or subcute chemotherapy, there comes a set of side effects. The commonest side effect that we encounter or we encountered in previous days was nausea vomiting. So immediately after the administration of chemotherapy, the patients would have nausea and many of them would have vomiting during chemotherapy, after chemotherapy and maybe for days beyond the chemotherapy. This was in the past. Apart from this nausea vomiting, which was acute and also the delayed part, they would have constipation, sometimes diarrhea, bowel changes, fever, body pain, especially the leg or the calf pain and many times generalized weakness. Usually after the chemotherapy, there are medications which are given to prevent these side effects for three to four days. Our problem usually comes after those four days. Fifth or sixth day is the one which is mostly troublesome for these patients. And after these three or four troublesome days, most of the patients would settle down with minimal effects. Our entire focus of adjuvant treatment or what we say as supportive treatment is to alleviate these symptoms like nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, body pain, fever, even myalgias or muscle pain, headache, dizziness, so on and so forth.